Hey, how's it going today, guys? Uh, we've got this uh, Dragon GDS V2, and we're about to do a nut hydraulic upgrade to the scooter. So we're not using the cable anymore. That's a that's a going. So bear with me, and I'll uh, I'll show you how to do this to a GDS V2. So for this, guys, you will need to undo this side uh, where the indicators are, which are just two screws there, one in there, one there. And both on this side as well. Once you've done that, we can have to then flip it upside down. There's a few um, Allen keys on the bottom of this, and then the actual bottom of the skid will come out. So I'll get to that, and uh, I'll show you how that's done. Once that's done, just pull forward, and it'll just slide out like so. Obviously, just make sure you don't lose those screws, so just put them somewhere safe. And obviously, same for the rear. So let's get that. And now for the underside, so we flip the scooter upside down. You can probably see that marks there. So we want to undo all these Allen keys here. And that'll bring us out to get access to the battery so we can disconnect the motors. Ah, oh, yeah, satisfying. And the last one. So once you've undone all those Allen keys, you should be able to open it up and that will reveal your battery. Okay, so now that you've got the battery out, obviously you want to disconnect the main powers, which is this one here and this one here, and then that way everything is all safe, all safe to work on. Okay, so now that we've got the battery out, this is your control unit for all your stuff. Um, basically it's tucked in here you just have to slide it out obviously be gentle because you've got wires here that can be damaged so please take your time obviously take your time when you are pulling this apart um, so easy to identify obviously trace wires so I know this one here that's going to the back of the motor so obviously your back motor runs through here followed it through and it's basically these two wires here that go to the uh, rear motor obviously just take photos and whatnot to um, help you put the back, uh, scooter back together because obviously you have to put it back together. So um, these are just uh, these are just pin out. So you just pull these out and um, and then yeah. But we um, don't have to do that necessarily for the rear because the rear brakes are up here on a and not having to pull it apart through there. So the reason why we're doing that is because we can't actually get on the front. We've got to try and get to this big disc here that's holding this brake caliper on. So. We'll get to that in a minute, but um, just for the time being, you can skip forward and see why. But yeah, we're gonna undo this from the controller and well, the front one from the controller, and then yeah, we'll feed those wires back through the body harness, back through here. It comes down through here, down into stem, and then obviously ends up here into your uh, your hub. So we've got to feed it all through there, so that way we can get to this plate. So it looks like green goes to green. Um, grey goes to blue and blue or purple goes to like a dark green so once you've undone those three um, just obviously pull it through we've just got this one here for you just here so obviously just be careful take your time with it so these are those the three pins and um, pretty much you're just gonna feed it back through the forks and obviously get it down to where it comes through here. So I'll, um, I'll pull this part through. It's pretty straightforward, it's nothing scary. So I'll just get this hub motor off and um, we'll skip ahead. Okay, so on the forks there are two bolts on either side here. You can see I've undone one. And there's a bolt around the back. You can probably see probably better on this side. So you've got these two bolts here, they need to be undone. So I put a shifter on the back of that and put a socket onto the front and uh, that was able to undo that quite easily. Um, obviously be careful of the wire, feed that through. We've got the hub motor on the ground. Um, I'm doing a little something cool for my girlfriend so I'm actually changing those discs to rainbow coloured ones which you'll see later on. Um, but uh, yeah, we just need to feed this through so we can get this out of the way and we can get to this plate. This plates are very important and you'll see why in a minute. So here we have the old ones, the old discs, that's worn, not. and now we've just fitted these. Very cool. 
Hopefully that camera can pick that up because that's sick. So this is a standard um, bracket. Obviously there's the caliper. That's how it's set on there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to detach the caliper. I'll just do that now. Which now gives us our bracket. Now what we're going to do is we're going to feed the wires back through. But we're going to place it this way. Now I should go up to the bench and I'll show you why. So in the standard form we've got a basically the disc would sit here there's your brake caliper mount that runs through and you've got the extra mount and then you've got your red caliper just there so usually what would allow you to happen is this disc brake here would obviously clamp down when you twist it and would then be able to clamp this part of the rotor now on the nut and brake setup this orientation it likes to sit on an angle so you can see that the nut brakes goes like that but inside the caliper is actually got it's on an angle so you can see the pads there and you can see that the mounting isn't exactly straight like this one so you have to mount these the same way that nut brake setup is so the nut has to be vertical bolted on so I've got a little jimmy set up here so once you flip that disc around you've then you've got your bolt pad and then you've got that and that will allow that mounting bracket to bolt up and actually sit without hitting over the disc. Now what I'm what I'm usually referring to and hitting, I mean inside this little caliper in here, we're usually hitting this little these little areas here. So you always need to space them out and whatnot, but this setup here will allow you to run the hydraulic nut brakes once bolted down perfectly over that disc perfectly. And just as a little demonstration you can just see here what I've done. So you're literally just flipping that little metal bracket around. It's literally all it is. And then these brackets here, so I'll have to obviously do a bit of research as I'm filming on which brackets. So I've got a couple of different mounting brackets here to choose from. Um, so all of these will be, I'll end up telling you. But this one I actually have got, and I actually went down to a bike shop and brought it. I think this is a Shimano or something. Hang on, pack it down here. So I brought this from 99 bikes. It's the price for you if you can see that. So and it was like yeah, 13, 13 bucks if you're a club member, which I am. But uh, yeah, you just buy one of these, and uh, that's this mount here, which it looks like it's actually going to be spot on for our application. It's going to sit it perfectly to where we want it, and if we need to space it out a bit more or whatever, we can just put spaces in the mounting position or either move it closer or back away and whatnot so we'll get to that and we'll start putting it all back together quick handy tip as well guys is uh, when you're putting it together and you're feeding these wires back through you just obviously look at the brakes and then reference to where how it's going to sit obviously it's going to sit like that so we want this to be this side so um yeah we'll put this through and we'll get that finished up so there we have it guys so that's how the nut brakes are going to sit on there i've just got it mocked up and bolted it down um, it does look like though we are going to have to do a bit of clearance on the back of the caliper just here so just for a little bit um, clearance just because the little electric motors are really small so you can see just down inside of there there's not much room so I'm just going to do a little bit of, little bit grinding clearance on the back of this and we should be good to go. There we are guys, I've got the uh, nut brakes all zip tied back up, back of the motor all zip tied back up, some protective films all zip tied back up. I've fed through the hydraulic line up through the top here and now I'm just going to start the old necking process of uh, feeding it up. Okay, so now we've got all this nice and tidy back up again, so it's looking all nice and fresh. Um, <clears throat> I've uh, taped this off just to give us a, a location of where I want this to actually be chopped. So given that the nut brakes going to sit around about there somewhere, I've given it a bit of a slack so it can kind of bend and move around and whatnot. And then, so pretty much I'm going to have it cut here. Um, there's an instruction thing on the uh, website where I brought these nut brakes from which I'll upload uh, onto uh, onto this video at the end and um, it just basically shows you you just got to use the tip of this you've got this little screw cap that stops air getting in because um, they've already pre-bled these uh, there's a little screw end and once you've done that yeah you'll, you'll see what I mean when I go when you go on there but um, I'll, I'll re 
pretty much I'll just do all this real quick and you shall see it in probably after the click and boom there we have it so these are all nice and uh, hooked up I've obviously cut this and uh, I'll put this all through so um, I'll hook it back up as well so if I put my finger on the brake turn on would be nice um, so on the brake we've got brake lights still so this is brake here is awesome so and you're working these actually feel really good so this is looking very positive now I've just got to obviously put this back to where she wants it which is pretty much about there so this is all looking really nice and I'll probably just zip tie these up or whatnot and bunch them together so that way it looks all nice and nice and not neat and tidy again so I'll be with you even with that in just a bit now yeah, we're looking all nice and fresh on this one all finished up and uh, it's looking really well and it works very well now for time for bedding in Keep while you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire